All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the three most common vasopressors we use in the ICU. And guys, this is not a blanket statement. This is just general ICU. So, of course, cardiac ICU is going to be different from neuro ICU. Neuro ICU is going to be different from trauma ICU. So just use your common sense. A lot of the time we're using vasopressors because the patient is in shock. One of the most common vasopressors we use in the ICU is norepinephrine, also called levofed. Levofed is a catecholamine and a potent vasoconstrictor. So levofed will vasoconstrict your veins and arteries. It also has some beta-1 activity, so it's going to help the heart beat a little bit harder so that it can overcome the increased SVR. And if your patient's really sick, another drug that we may use in addition to norepinephrine is epinephrine, also known as adrenaline. We really try to stay away from this as much as possible because it has some very toxic effects on the heart. Uh, you really put your patient at risk for more arrhythmias and cardiac uh, problems. So, and the third most commonly used vasopressor that we use in the ICU is actually called vasopressin. We usually get this medication at a steady rate. This medication has antidiuretic as well 